Kersner International, which has for more than a decade held the distinction of being the country's single largest private sector employer, announced today that it intends to sell its Atlantis Resort and sister properties. Prime Minister Ringham announced today that while the company, which employs more than 7,000 Bahamians, will be changing its role, the resort will continue normal operations. In this report, Ianthea Smith explains the financial state under which the transfer of ownership is taking place. A payment of 200 million a day about is due, and the shareholders of Kirsten International have been either unable or unwilling, and or both, to come up with the 200 million dollars. Brookfield has therefore taken its loan amount. It's only one of the lenders. It's a small lender compared to all the others who've had the other 2.1 billion. It's taken its 175 million and converted it into equity. That pretty much breaks down the transfer of ownership of Kersner International Properties Paradise Island to Brookfield Asset Management. On Tuesday afternoon in the House of Assembly, Prime Minister Hubert Ingram tabled a statement with the details of this transfer. And while Kersner International will now only manage and operate the Atlantis Resort and the one and only Ocean Club, he assured workers of one critical angle, job security. The acquisition of Kersner's International Bahamian Properties fits into the vision of Brookfield, which has a strong cash flow and balance sheet, permitting it to provide essential financial capital at a time of global economic and financial uncertainty. This is especially so, given our interest in ensuring that a new ownership of Atlantis will provide continued security of employment for the 8,000 Bahamians employed there. As mentioned, Brookfield Asset Management, a Canadian publicly traded company, has some $159 billion in assets and more than $69 billion of property assets. The PM says he's been assured that Brookfield shares Kersner's commitment to continue future capital expenditure and maintenance of the resort at levels sustained over the years. A source of concern for West End and Bimini MP, Obi Wilchcombe. I'm concerned about whether or not they will have the capacity and the leverage to be able to market as they've done because their market has been exceptional and has helped our tourism industry truly develop in the Bahamas. And I'm wondering whether or not your government is absolutely can, uh, uh, satisfied that the Brooksfield Group would allow for this to continue. But the PM says his government looks forward to a strong working relationship with Brookfield. I note for the benefit of members, Mr. Speaker, that the transfer of Kirsten's Bahamian assets to Brookfield will result in the conversion of that company's $175 million loan to Kirsten International into equity. Brookfield will now stand in Kirsten's shoes in relation to Atlanta's debt. Ian Thea Smith, ZNS News.